Down here! We're not infected! Down here! Damn it! Well, I think we will probably move on to the, the question portion where uh, our fans and subscribers to the Kill9 TV channel on YouTube or uh, people who follow us at kill9studios.com have voiced their opinions or sent in some questions and comments for you. Okay. I've ignored all the pills questions, by the way. They're not on there. Okay, all right. That's... For obvious reasons. <laughs> pills here! Counter Nerd asks, Oh, ask him if he has ever played Left 4 Dead himself. And also, what is his favorite movie? Yeah, I was playing... Uh... Last night to about three o'clock in the morning. Um, I was actually playing. I was using uh, the character of Zoe. Let's play Lewis. Is kind of interested. And uh, Lewis, when you know, when you are Lewis, kind of. But <laughs> have you ever played Lewis when you play? I played Lewis the first time, but I was trying to play it on the PC, so I couldn't get up. You know. And so I've never played on a PC before, so I was trying to look at the commands and what does this do? I couldn't even get out the room of the house. I was walking into the walls like this. <laughs> so, so, so I hooked up, you know, a buddy came over last night. And so we, you know, I have my own Left 4 Dead. I christened my Left 4 Dead CD last night and put it in and so uh oh we were up to like three o'clock in the morning my brain was fried <laughs> you know, trying to, what is how do i get on the table how do oh god no, get him off me get him off me help me oh, you know but it was it was totally fun it was it was a blast so i actually was nervous to play it nervous because i'm like i got people depending on me and i, I wasn't nearly as good as my friend you know because he's like a gamer from like birth so I was like, oh damn, I'm sorry man, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't get, you know, I'm trying to go right to left and I'm looking at the ceiling and I'm going around in circles, oh help, how do I get it down, how do I change weapons? Do, I don't know, do, do I sound like Lewis and that kind of not? Okay, you no, have the occasional occasion, moments yeah. where it, you sound very, very Lewis, but mm -hmm. generally your voice seems uh, just a little bit lower than, yeah. than Lewis's. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't really want it to Lewis, to do Lewis's voice that way, but they kind of made me, uh, because when I auditioned, you know, the character, Oh, I should tell the story about when I, because yeah. when, when I auditioned, I actually had to audition twice, because uh, when I went to audition the first time, there was no no picture or anything, so you didn't know what Lewis looked like or anything. So when, okay, I might be stereotyping a little bit, but <laughs> when you're an actor and you just assume that the character is going to be white, <clears throat> so one of the lines I think of off the aud the audition piece originally was like. Uh, when I go back, when all of this is over, I'm going back to my old life. So I was like, when all this is over, I'm going back to my old life. And so my agent, like, called, called me back, like, two days later. Hey, could you come back in and audition for this game? Because, uh, you know, they really wanted, like, some black sounding, like, a character. Oh, well, oh, I didn't know that the character was black. So then they, they showed a picture of him, but at the time, Lewis... He had on like a, a, a vest with like, like he was going hunting or fighting or something. He had like almost like dreads and big, big hair and he had a cigar in his mouth. He was like really tough. <clears throat> so when I auditioned for that one, I was like, yeah, when all this is over, I'm going back to my old life. And so then, <laughs> so when I get, when I got to part, I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be cool. But then when I get to the, <laughs> to the studio, you know, my voice, they was like, oh no, no, we don't want to want you to you know talk like that we want it to kind of sound like you but you know maybe but a little bit different <clears throat> and so my voice ended up being, <laughs> being a little bit higher and I was thinking so when we did all the video the voices together I thought man this isn't cool look Francis I mean because the guy that does Francis is he's like smaller than I am <laughs> and he's like Jesus God Bill oh and so I'm like, well, how come I don't get a cool voice, you know? Because the guy that does Bill is like old, old school, man. I mean, like, for real. Like, where he was telling stories about, you know, working with, like, other actors back in the day. And so he's probably, I would, I would say maybe 75 or so, <laughs> if not older. If not older <laughs> in real life. So, and so I was like, I can't, how come my voice isn't cool? How come I can't get, like, a big, heavy, cool voice? But when, I, when they put everything together, then I was like, oh. I see what you're going for. That's okay. That's pretty cool. Cool. Oh, the, I didn't answer the question about the movie. My oh, yeah. Movie. Oops. What's your favorite movie? Oh, man. Um, oh, 
one of my, I would have to say favorite ones is, is Mind Game. It's, it's an anime. I think I've heard of it. And I don't think I've seen it, but I've definitely heard of it. It's hard to find. I mean, I had to rent it from a, uh, we have a video store here in Seattle called Scarecrow Video. And I actually had to leave a deposit to, to take the disc <laughs> home because, you, you know, it's just, you can't find it anywhere. I can't even find it online to sell it. But if anybody gets to see Mind Game, it's like really, really, really cool. So that's definitely one of my favorite movies, even though it's, even though it's anime. But they, they actually, it's weird because they had some actors, like kind of live a actors in it, but most of it's like anime. Oh, weird. Yeah, it was weird. It was really weird. Mr. Roz uh, says, I'd like to ask what it's like hearing your own voice played back in a video game, and how cool is it to forever have his mark made upon the gaming community? It is kind of cool. Uh, actually, I almost like it better if I don't like recognize it, like if it doesn't sound too much like me. Like the, the first game I did was The Suffering. That's about, ooh, 2003, I think. Wow. And, uh, oh, I sound just, that one kind of was weird because it sounded just like me. It's like, <clears throat> but, you know, they were like, hey man, or whatever. At the time, I mean, it wasn't quite that high, but you can, I mean, I have people calling me on the phone. Yo, dude, are you in the suffering? You, I mean, people I went to school with, people that know me playing the game. So I was like, yeah, 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 that was me. So I, I, I kind of like it if it doesn't sound just like me. Because then you get the harassing phone calls. Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> you get people like us moaning at you. Hey, do you want to record a video? <laughs> or to call up quoting lines on your phone. And actually, this is no lie. When they, because <clears throat> they did, they showed the Left 4 Dead on TV when it, the promotions. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there were pe people, pe few people that knew me, and they would call up. And after they saw the the commercial, and they wouldn't even say hi, Earl, or anything, just call up and leave a message on the phone quoting the lines and hang up. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the line, whatever the line is, and then like, oh, I, and I think one of the lines was, uh, yeah, <clears throat> guys used to laugh at me when I went to the rifle range for lunch. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Not so funny now, is it? And so that's what one of my, my friends just called and left that message on my. So you like, you know, oh, I got I got a message. Yeah, guys used to laugh at me when I worked at the rifle range for lunch. I mean, not so funny now, is it? Click. <laughs> what the hell's going on? So, <laughs> the, the, I got a little bit of flag. LTS Shippo says, ask him what was the best thing that happened to him as he was working with the Left 4 Dead team and making Lewis come to life. Please and thank you. you know, okay, I'll say this. When I first, when I walked into the studio to work on this, I was intimidated for about the first five seconds. <clears throat> because, I mean, I walked, well, maybe I'll say 10 seconds. Cause when, you know, this was the, probably the biggest game that I had worked on. So I walked in and it's like five, six guys just sitting around with each big, huge, you know, computers just. And then when I walked through the door, everybody turns and they're looking at me. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, all these guys are here for me. <laughs> oh, what if I can't do it? <sighs> then I was like, what are you talking about? Come on, man. <clears throat> so then once I got inside and put my headphones on, I was like, yeah, it's on, it's on. But well, we had, it's probably the best I mean, they were really a great bunch of guys, pretty laid back, and uh, so that took a little bit of the pressure off of me. <clears throat> and then, you know, once you get going, you kind of, like an athlete, you, you get into the zone a little bit. <clears throat> and they let me, you know, say some of my own lines, or if they, they have a line written, and, it, and sometimes subconsciously I wouldn't say the line. I would say what felt right, and then they were like, yeah, 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 just keep doing that. So... Next time, I'm going to have to get some writing credits, you know, to do that bit. Wait a minute, that was my line. But uh, I think just the overall experience of working with those guys was just, just really cool. And so then after I was able to go back, you know, because I probably was in the studio like four different times for Left 4 Dead. And then I ended up doing a Half-Life episode, too. Oh, like, cool. Like episode two. I, can't, I played like two people on that, and I can't remember off the top of my head what, which characters I was on, on that one. So the one like when I went in like six weeks ago, it was just like, hey, what's up, y'all? What's Bill? What's going on? Chat, my man. What's happening? <laughs> All right, let's rock this. What we, what's going on? What are we doing? What are we doing? Crazy. Yeah. And uh, so we talked a lot about uh, Japan because I'm learning Japanese because I want to go move over there eventually. <laughs>